Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you how to import a player generated character from Skyrim into the Skyrim creation kit. Basically we open up the command window and we're going to type in show race menu and here we are. We can um, customize the character just like we did at the very beginning of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a character and this can be anything you want. I'm going to create my Breton male and I'm going to give it some scars and some stubble and that's it. Okay. So once again we're going to open up the command by pressing the tilde key and we're going to type in this command. Save PC face space mark 1. Press enter. Now it seems like it hasn't done anything at all. But if we go to the the Skyrim folder, in the main Skyrim folder, not in data, but in the main Skyrim folder, what we can do is we scroll down, we can see that we have created an, an .mpc file. Here it is, mark1.mpc. Okay, we've opened up the Skyrim creation quit. Now we've got to create our new NPC. So we can go to actor, we can choose any of these, and then we can right click and go to new. Let's give it an ID, something like AA, so we can see it. Let's call this Mark. His rule name is Mark. <coughs> now we go to traits, and basically it can be any race we want to. And to prove it, I'm going to select high elf race. I'm going to select female. Let's turn on the head. And now we've got to scroll to character gen parts and we've got to go to import right here, right next to hair color. So we click on import. And it's open up Windows Explorer in the Skyrim folder. And here's is what we created mark1.mpc. We're going to select that. I'm going to click open. And watch as the female high elf turns into a Breton male. And that's it. And then from this menu, we can even make some changes. So we can change the hair color to, let's say, something like Oburn. Give it a nice red color. And we can also change his lip type and his eyes and we can customize it and fiddle with the face generation face gen sculpting system sometimes when we import faces when we're using the save pc face command into the creation quit we get something like this the skin is unnaturally black especially in her forehead like that or to fix it, we're going to go to the female upper sockets. And we're going to change this preset into color average. That way it recolors her hair into something much more different. Once we've created the character, we can drop them into our world. And you can see even in the creation kit, it's got every detail, including the scars that we defined in the Skyrim main game creation editor. And that's it. That is how you import a player created character with the Skyrim inbuilt game tools into the creation kit for your NPCs. I hope this has been useful to you and if it has, please share this video with your friends on social media.